So I'm just in uh, the very famous big market in Newcastle. So this place is massive on Hindus, stag nights. Uh, I dare say the bouncers really earn their money around here. So, uh, sorry, so anyway, so that place there, so today it's Cozy Joe's, but uh, back in 1990, it was Macy's. Um, so Lee Duffy got out of prison in May 1990, and um, so the stories of him hunting with Graham happened, and he, he did come up in Newcastle several times, and they were all in um, the summer of 1990, we were fresh out of prison, you know, 1991, the year after he'd, he'd been shot a couple of times, he'd been set on fire, he was living on his wits, and um, so the Viv Graham kind of saga, if you like, happened June, July, August, the summer of 90, he was fresh out of prison, done all the training, and um, so I interviewed a guy, uh, he wouldn't, didn't want to be named, but he was sat in that pub there, and he said uh, that that whole pub come out, and they were watching it. Uh, I interviewed another guy who, um, he actually said Duffy was like around there, chasing the bouncers around cars. Uh, I did actually speak to one guy who was one of the bouncers. I won't name for obvious reasons. So he was a, he was a lad from uh, Walker. Big, big guy. And, um, you know, it was what he said. He, you know, he just basically said Duffy come up and absolutely flattened a lot of them. So that's exactly where it happened there. And uh, I do know on definitely one occasion, Viv was... Um, was a, was abroad. He was actually in Tenerife, you know. So I'm not sure whether how much I would read into it that he was just hiding from him. I mean, Graham was a f a formidable, you know. He was a former amateur boxer. Had 19 bouts, only lo only lost the two, and he actually got to the semi-finals of the ABAs. Um, you can see the footage of him and Stuart Watson. You know, he's uh, horrific scenes of violence and. No scary character, but uh, that was where Lee Duffy came up to Newcastle, just there, and basically punched anyone that moved. And he come up a couple of times. So there, today it's Cozy Joe's. Back in 1990, it was Macy's, and this is the big market. Uh, the guy actually said to me. Um, so that that time it happened during the day or the evening shall we say and uh, he said to me that he went in a pub another pub round there and he said to the, the manager how come there's not any staff on tonight he said oh well some of our lads have uh, went to hospital because when they were on when they were there at work in Macy's they were due to go to another bar and uh, obviously Duffy put them a few of them in hospital but uh, the whole of the Beehive pub we're out and I watched it. Kid from Middlesbrough, a pair of shorts. 